One of the things that, you know, when I was a kid, I was insanely curious, you know, and I, you know, I used to drive my mother crazy with questions about, you know, how do things work? And, you know, she could answer a lot of them until I got older. But, you know, this was the pre-internet days. And, you know, so like you had to go to a library and use the Dewey Decimal System and find a book and then read it. You know, now we have Wikipedia, you know, and so this, it's like, it's like you get to be a kid all over again. It's like you have a question that pops in your head, you can go find the answer to it. And, you know, so, you know, I wish that I had had the internet and Wikipedia when I was, you know, nine, eight, nine, ten years old because I could have, I just, I, I could have learned everything because it, it was like everything's out there. You can, it's right at your fingertips and, you know, all you have to do is just be curious, you know. So, so that's one of the things that I think that I really like about the work that I do now is that I get to keep that same curiosity that I think a lot of adults kind of, they kind of shove under the rug because it's not, you're not supposed to ask dumb questions, you know, and so I've made a career out of asking dumb questions. And sometimes those are the smartest questions you can ask in a meeting, because if you just ask the simplest question, um, simply because you want to know the answer, it may completely redefine the conversation that you're having, but nobody, but you have to be able to step up to the plate and ask the dumb question first and, and you have to take that risk and sometimes that's scary and a lot of times adults don't want to do that but if you can keep that curiosity and keep that and, and, and never let it interfere with you know grown-up things then you're, you're always going to have a, a, a very very interesting career.